Hello everybody and welcome back to um what the hell did I name my video? Red Hair Care Part 2? I'm not sure. Welcome back to another hair video. Today I am going to, to show you guys how I dye my hair, how I shampoo my hair. You will actually see me naked in the shower, which is crazy. It was so weird to film, but anyways. You will see what products I use for my own hair. This, this video will be all about my hair my hair and the health of my hair and just what i do with my hair <laughs> the routine and all of that because i feel like whenever you talk about red hair everyone is just like oh my god it's so much work but i feel like it's not it might be because i've been a redhead for a long time but also i feel like if you have a routine that you just stick to, that you know will work for you, then it is not a lot of work. Also, if you guys aren't yet subscribed to my channel, then please press the subscribe button, be a subscriber, be a part of this small little family, and also don't forget to click the bell. So now let's just get into the video. So the first thing that I'm going to be doing today is to fix my roots. And in this video, I will also use the Garnier Olea 6.60 in Intense Red. Since a lot of you couldn't get a hold of the Swatchkopf one world, wide i think well i'm i'm pretty sure that garnier sells the olea collection worldwide so hopefully you can get a hold of it <laughs> now i did bleach my roots up to three levels before this but since i already have a video on that i figured i'll just link that video down below and skip that part for this video so now just try to apply it to the roots first like the roots only and usually that will take me a good 15 minutes and then i just wait for about eight minutes and then i drag the hair dye further down in my hair and cover all of my hair with it i usually also always massage it in to make sure that my entire scalp is covered and also all of the hair strands and that might also take five minutes so 15 minutes to apply eight minutes of waiting before applying the rest of the hair dye, massage for five minutes, and then add four more minutes to let it process a bit and then rinse it out. <laughs> I know it's a lot to remember, but I know it by heart now. Just take notes during the video if you want to try or do anything that I'm showing you today. Not gonna lie, not gonna lie, this was pretty uncomfortable showering with a shower doors opened and a camera facing your butt. But anyways, I'm now rinsing out the hair dye first with only water. I then use the same shampoo that I used for my extensions in my last video, the Redken Color Extend Magnetics Shampoo. And no, I do not shower in cold water, guys. It's not steaming hot, but it's definitely warm. Also, guys, my coupon code FLUKE OF MAKEUP ALL CAPS at lookfantastic.com will still give you 20% off their entire website and all of the products that I'm using today except for the hairspray is available there. I usually don't go in with conditioner post shampooing just because the hair mask that I'm using is so nourishing itself and it also helps the hair sucking up the semi dye that is mixed into the hair mask a lot better if the hair isn't super conditioned if that makes sense so right now i am just applying a face mask as you already can tell oh my god i just feel like this is my routine whenever i wash my hair anyway so why not show the whole thing so now i am just removing my towel and taking out the hair tie just to let down the damp hair on my shoulders i then wrap myself in a towel or just put it over my shoulders at least just because this I mean, this stuff stains like crazy, so please do this. Now, this hair mask that I'm applying today is a mix of different hair masks plus a semi-dye. And I mixed it all in part one of my red hair care series. So if you are interested in the mixture, then check that one out. I will leave a link to that video down below anyways. I also just have to add that I only wash my hair once a week. I know it's gross, uh, but I get away with it because I bleach my roots every once in a while. And bleached hair 
normally takes longer to get oily but i also have like trained my hair to be like that and between washes i just use dry shampoo but i mean like if i feel like i have a lot of hairspray in my hair or if it looks like a bird nest caught on fire in my case i will wash it even though it's only been four days since i washed it i will wash it but each and every time i wash my hair i will use this mask just so you guys know and i usually also let this hair mask sit overnight if i got time Time to style it the morning after but for the sake of this video i just let it sit for an hour the next step is also something that i use every third week i would say and it is the color wow bionic tonic coconut cocktail because they couldn't come up with a longer name anyways this leave-in treatment is activated by heat so it's like the same thing as the dream coat from color wow but this actually mimics and replaces the lost layer of moisture that healthy virgin hair has before you ruin it with hair dye and bleach and so on. So you basically get the feeling of healthy virgin hair without actually having it. You just gotta love science, right? It's also very important to cover every strand of hair with this, so use a comb and brush through thoroughly and multiple of times. And like I said, this is a heat activated product, so you need to blow dry it and I use this huge brush from Tangle Angel and just a basic blow dryer to do this. It takes some time before you get used to it. I actually found it pretty hard doing it by myself in the beginning, <laughs> but you, you really do get used to it the more you do it. I mean, I'm still not a pro, as you guys can tell, but that is only because I got on this hair blowing routine maybe seven months ago. So, I mean, don't be too hard on yourselves, guys. The, this is actually pretty hard to be honest. I then just blow dry my hair upside down to get that volume and the last minute of blow drying I press the cooling button to cool it down just like this upside down so I know it looks weird but it totally works so now to my favorite favorite hair oil of all times the Kerastase original elixir I use this on both my hair and my hair extensions this is bomb I recommend it to everybody go and get it it smells good makes your hair glossier and it makes your hair feel very good as well so <laughs> however i only run it through my length so don't put this all over your head because then your hair will get greasy now over to my favorite hair tool of the moment the steam pod from l'oreal and this is also very much a great piece of science i would say it basically won't damage your hair at all like i can even make my hair extensions look brand new when they start to look dull and frizzy with this and it's it's literally magic like i don't even have to wash them <laughs> it just makes it i i can't even explain it you guys have to google it because it's so much science behind it but anyways uh it is a bit pricey though i'm not gonna lie but it is truly truly an investment i do however try to stay away from my roots since we already got volume from the blowout that we did earlier and yeah guys here is the end result salt and also a little slow-mo clip of myself with no makeup Okay, I am going to show you guys how I essentially hide my roots, but also how I just fill in my hairline. For me at least, I feel like that is very important because as you guys know or might not know if you guys are new to my channel, in that case, hello. It's, it's typical Scandinavian, it's very um fine my hair right now is in great condition i'm not sure if you guys can if you guys can see but like this length is just so unreal to me because i've never had hair that looks so healthy and so thick this is just my own no extensions not us so yeah what i wanted to say was that i will fill in my sparse areas. I feel like when you got any type of hair color you should do this. I mean if your hair is so thick that you're if that is humanly possible to have 
to like not i mean maybe on wigs i feel like the only time you won't see your scalp is when you wear wigs i kind of like that effect you know but also i feel like if you have extensions just right over here you can actually see them in some lights especially if you got super fine hair like myself so uh yeah i am going to show you guys how to like cover it up and all you need for this is eyeshadow and a brush as you guys see here this is actually a a uh, huda beauty palette don't be mad at me. I don't like the shades in this one, especially not the matte ones. I love the shimmery ones, but anyways, um, I actually have a video on that one. Check that one out. <laughs> so I've been using the matte ones right here to, and that one I think as well, to cover up my uh, hair line, my scalp. Uh, I'm going to put a little bit, this brush, I don't even know where I got this brush. This is just a, a brush that I forever use for my hair. So I am just going into saffron now. I, as you guys saw, I just dyed my hair. It was one week ago since I did that clip. <sighs> okay. Yeah. It's already like pretty. Let's see if I can do it on this side. Yeah, I can definitely do it on this side. If you guys see here, right here, I really don't want that to, to show. So what I do is, I take this brush with product on it and I just place it right there. And you can also do this if you get, you know, roots or like when your roots are starting to show, you can actually paint a little bit of eyeshadow on top of it and it will blend in a lot easier. Having a scalp is normal. <laughs> I just have to point that out. It is very, very normal. But if you want that really um, full look, do this because it's, it's, it's a really great trick. Also, when I have my hair, let's see if I can do this. So if I have my hair parted like so, see if I can part that a little bit better. Um, okay. It will not work with me today. Okay, so if I have it parted like this, I usually won't do anything that extreme. I will just go in gently with a little bit of shadow especially around here to make my forehead a little bit smaller now this is a trick that i learned from a girl on youtube a very very long time ago so if you actually like move down your hairline it will make your forehead look a lot smaller so same thing here you can just apply a little bit shadow here and especially like around here as you guys can see it's just very i don't know it's just not as thick as i would like it to be so just go in with some shadow and i would definitely not say that i do this every single time i I do my hair. I just feel like it looks a lot better when you are, you know, taking pictures or, you know, going to events or whatever it might be. So yeah, that is it. Wow. Ooh, it's so hot in here. I also use this little guy right here. This is actually a, I guess it's a brow brush, but I use this to just like lay down my edges. I just spray a little bit of hairspray on this little brush right here and I just lay them down like that. And also another thing that a lot of people are asking me is if I still use that pink hairspray that I used in my installment video. In my video where I install my extensions and I have been trying to desperately replace that one because because it's not a international hairspray so you guys can't use it so I've been using this instead 
for a long, long time now, actually for a year, I think. I don't know when I recorded that video, probably like a year and a half. But um, so yeah, this is the one that I am now using and I love it so, so much. And it just makes your hair stay in place. This stuff is like glue, so. Okay guys, so that was everything for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun. It took me a good week and a half to film it, but I really do enjoy to put out stuff that you guys wanna see and my hair videos are doing very, very, very good compared to my makeup videos, so um, I, I guess that is a good thing, but I mean, my my main focus should be on makeup because I'm a makeup artist and not a hairstylist. But you know, if, if you guys want me to do hair videos, I'll be happy to do hair videos for you. So yeah, if you guys like this video, then please leave a thumbs up and a comment. And if you guys aren't subscribers yet, then please subscribe to my channel and also click the bell. <laughs> I love you guys so so much and until the next time I hope you guys take care Bye. Oh my god, look at that arm That is the palest arm I've seen in years. Look at that arm compared to my face <laughs> That is horrible What the hell?